Hi Poopsies, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing a cooking video and I'm going to be cooking some seafood and I haven't done a cooking video in quite some time actually and it has been requested repeatedly so I finally decided to pull through with that repeated request and make one for you. This is not my house. This is a vacation villa that I am staying in for a little bit. But today I'm going to talk about this company called Blue Apron. And before I begin, I just want to say this video is sponsored by Blue Apron. This box is from Blue Apron. It's pretty heavy. It has groceries in it. Pretty cool, right? Looks like this. Just this big old box. And inside this box. you have in the groceries in the box. They send you three different meals weekly that you can make. This week they sent me tempura fried cod, lamb, beef, and mushroom stew, and seared chicken and pearl couscous. But for this video today I'm going to be making tempura fried cod. So they have the ingredients you need here, some information, and directions how to make the recipe work with whatever you have in here. I'm just going to showcase that. Some cremini mushrooms, baby kale. An important thing you want to keep in mind is these are all farm fresh ingredients shipped to your door. This is jasmine rice, pearl couscous, scallions, orange, tempura cod knickknacks. Gotta keep that close. Chicken and couscous knickknacks, and the lamb and beef stew knickknacks. A couple of potatoes, more scallions, celery, garlic. refrigerated so even if you're not at your door to get them right away your food still remains cold. Premium ground lamb and beef blend. This is some chicken breasts and wild pacific cod. And I'm gonna put it, these in the box you know they can stay cold. But basically you can just make all of these recipes from home. These are fresh ingredients straight to your door. There are 
family plans or two person plans. I'm talking into each ear because there's microphones here. Uh, they come in a refrigerated box, delivered straight to your door, and they're constantly adding new recipes to the website. And there are about 500 to 800 calories per person per menu. I also have a discount code in my description box. If you check out the link in my description box, the first 50 viewers who order will get three meals off their first order for free. For free. So now I'm gonna organize my ingredients and showcase the food and make it for you. So I'm gonna begin. Now the prep time for this tempura fried cod with Thai style vegetable salad and jasmine rice is 15 minutes. The cook time is 15 to 25 minutes and this makes two servings. So just enough for me to have some dinner right now. The exquisite crunch in tonight's cod fillets come from tempura frying, a Japanese technique that creates a deliciously light crust. Using extra cold water when you make your batter will ensure the cod crisps up perfectly. On the side, our thigh-inspired carrot and radish salad gets a savory depth from a complex dressing made of traditional ingredients like tamarind and rice and vinegar. And chefs, the remaining dressing adds irresistible flavor when drizzled over the finished cod and rice. So I'm going to need two cod fillets, which is here. Three-fourths of a cup of jasmine rice. Two carrots. Three radishes. scallions. Hmm. Do I use these or these? Hmm. One ounce of baby kale, two cloves of garlic, a fourth of a cup of tempura mix, which I must have names here. the tempura cod knickknacks. Knickknack patty whack. Here's the mix. Two tablespoons of rice vinegar. It's here. of golden mountain sauce, one tablespoon tamarind concentrate, and one tablespoon sambal orlek. And each of these comes with the nutrition facts, which is helpful. All right, so these are the extra ingredients so I can show you up close. You don't need to do the measuring, they come already pre-measured for you, which is super. Now I'm going to prepare the food. So right now I have to wash and dry the fresh produce. So I'm going to do that first. great and convenient because you don't have to go to the grocery store and wait in the long lines, basically.
guys. I should put it in a bowl like this and I just wash it. Okay. Next I peel and mince the garlic. So it said I need two cloves of garlic. so far. I'm not even close to being done. I just like the arrangement. Next, I cut off and discard the root ends of the scallions, thinly sliced, separating the white bottoms and the green tops. Like it says in this picture up here. I think I have a lot of these mini bowls here. This house came with Okay, so I'm gonna get my chopping board. in a separate bowl. My Swedish friend usually says bowl like bowel. I find that hilarious. Next, I peel the carrots half lengthwise and thinly slice crosswise. Okay. terrified of carrot peelers or peelers in general because uh, I sliced into my nail bed one time. Right. Chop off the ends. I'm assuming I have to chop the carrot in half. deliver to your door weekly because you really do start to learn that way more about cooking I knew nothing about cooking before I moved out So I assume I'm doing it correctly because it looks pretty close to the picture. <laughs> Next.
next I cut off and discard the ends of the radishes, thinly slice into rounds. That part's easy. But I know how to do for sure. I always liked radishes. I grew up with radishes in my salad. Spicy, but in a good way. Maybe I'm just sensitive. is complete. Now it's time to cook the rice. So in a small pot, I heat one teaspoon of olive oil on medium high until hot. Thankfully I bought some olive oil today before I came here. So I get a small pot. I like to estimate. I was never really the type of person to measure exactly to the mark how much food I'm using. I like to be pretty generous, even with my olive oil. And I'm putting this back in the fridge. So while the olive oil is warming up on the stove top right over there. Next, I add the garlic and season with salt and pepper. Okay. Good thing I brought these today, too. I had a feeling I needed these. You usually always need olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then I cook it, stirring it constantly, 30 seconds to one minute, or until fragrant. Okay, I forgot to mince the garlic, so I'm going to do that now. Lower the heat so it doesn't burn. And I'm a pretty slow cooker in general. I like to take my time and really make sure I know what I'm doing. pretty in the book, to the book in that sense. Garlic is minced and I add it to the olive oil now. a big pinch of salt and one and a half cups of water and I heat it to a boiling on high. So I have a measuring cup here. I'm going to add the rice in. A pinch of salt. And the water. Once it's boiling, I cover and reduce the heat to low. Cook 12 to 14 minutes or until the water has been absorbed and the rice is tender. And then I turn off the heat and fluff the cooked rice with a fork. So that's typically how I cook the rice too. It's pretty simple and straightforward. That way the rice can absorb the water, it expands, and it's thoroughly cooked through. So I'm going to give that a few minutes. So it's been in there a couple minutes while the rice is cooking through and it's covered on low. I'm going to make the dressing and it says, while the rice cooks in a bowl, combine the vinegar, tamarind concentrate, golden mountain sauce, white bottoms of the scallions, and as much of the sambal or the rec as you'd like, depending on how spicy you'd like the dish to be, seasoned with salt and pepper to taste. Rice vinegar. I've 
never had this. It smells like uh, balsamic vinegar so far. Gold Mountain sauce, which contains soy. White bottles of the scallions. Oops. And as much of the sambal, like up a little bit. I'm not a big spice person. There we go, just a little bit. I think I've had this in Thai food before, actually. Salt, you have to be careful with it, adds up with a lot of the food. You're putting salt here, you're putting salt there, it gets really salty after a while. I love pepper. I'm gonna stir. brown. I'm going to check on the rice. The rice just smells extraordinary by the way. Now I have to coat and cook the cod. So while the rice continues to cook, to make the batter in a large bowl, combine the temper mix. Just this. One fourth cup of cold water and whisk until smooth, seasoning with salt and pepper. Fun, you guys. Really wish I had the whisk, so I guess I'll just use a fork. Whisked. Whisked. Salt. Just a little dash of salt. Not too much. Next, I pat the cod for lace dry with paper towels, season with salt and pepper on both sides. stick if you have one. Heat one tablespoon of oil on medium high until hot. Well, I don't know if this is nonstick, but uh, I can try and think it would be. It's pretty fancy. Okay, so I get oil. hot enough that a drop of batter sizzles immediately. When added to the pan, thoroughly coat the seasoned fillets in the batter, letting any excess strip off and carefully add to the pan. Gotcha. Let's do a little test here. It smells delicious, by the way. I hope my hair isn't too orange. kind of got a bit upset that it wasn't that blonde as I thought it would be. I just realized they meant pan, not pot, so let me replace that. Sometimes when you're focused on so many things at once, you know how it is. It's too
actually focused on the rice and the egg recipe. So right now I'm just smothering the fillets. Then I'm gonna add them to the frying pan. Like so. three to four minutes per side or until golden brown and cooked through. Then I transfer to a paper towel lined plate immediately seasoned with salt and pepper. Again, good thing I checked the rice. It's basically finished. I'm gonna have to ventilate the house after this. It smells a lot like garlic. I'm gonna prepare the paper towel lined plate. While that's cooking, I'm going to make the salad. So just before serving in a large bowl, combine the kale, carrots and radishes and season with salt and pepper. to transfer the remaining dressing, but I like a lot of dressing on my salad. That's how that looks. Scrumptious. Place the rice on the plate, it's steaming hot, and then at the end, when the fish is done sizzling over there, I'm going to put it on top, put the green scallions on top, and then serve the salad. Really, really clean up here, by the way, while oh, that's cooking. So I've cleaned up a bit, and now the fish is pretty much ready, so I'm going to put it over the food, take some pictures of it, and just show you the completed food. Always do a taste test before to make sure it's fully cooked. It smells amazing, by the way. Mm, needs a little bit more. Ready? Pour the scallions on top. And there we have it. Tempura fried cod with rice and salad. Looks amazing, delicious. I'm so satisfied with this and I'm definitely posting pictures on my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter account after this video is edited and put together. So thank you very much for watching Boopsies and I'm going to do a little taste test now. Got to taste the food after I'm done making it, right? salads I've had in a while. Perfect combination of seasoning. Let's taste the fish now with the rice. Should be cooked by now. Mm. I can't wait to eat this all up now. This is perfect. Thank you, Poopsie, so much for watching.
see you guys in the next video.